What's going on YouTube? This is Rob A again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Grimwing. Uh, this is one of the new Voyagers uh, from the Beast Hunters line. And as you can see, he's kind of a griffin dragon sort of creature. Uh, <laughs> yeah, either way, um, he's looking very cool. I'm really excited about having this guy. Uh, he looks he looks really big and really just powerful. Uh, in his robot mode, and I imagine his beast mode will look quite the same in, uh, you know, in person, in hand. Uh, as you can see, he's got his Black Beak Grapple Launcher. And Black Beak is trademarked for some reason. <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe he'll be in the show. Maybe that'll be a character in the show. I don't know. Uh, we've got an interesting image of Grumling here on the side. Uh, yeah, pretty cool looking. Uh, on, the, on the other side, it says, The most honorable warrior among the Predacons, Grimwing seeks glory through chivalrous combat with a worthy foe. So, uh, total Beast Wars Dinobot sort of vibe going on here. Uh, he's even got kind of a similar head, actually. A little bit, a little bit going on there. Uh, maybe it's a throwback to his, uh, Beast Machines, uh, so, or no, that was uh, that was Silverbolt. Never mind. <laughs> Pay no mind to me. Either way, this guy is off the charts, man. Uh, he's rivaling Optimus Prime here. Uh, strength is 10, intelligence 9, speed 8, endurance 10, courage 10. Wow, this guy is uh, crazy going on here. And so he's got his black beat grapple launcher, and he's an Ursagriff. Okay, <laughs> I have never heard that term before, ever, so very interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess he, to me, he's going to be like a cross between Silverbolt and Dinobot. How nice. Either way, I can't wait to get him open out of the package, so I'm going to do just that. I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so here is Grimwing in his beast mode. Uh, now, he is supposed to be an Ursagriff, uh, which is a griffin with the body of a bear. So, this is supposed to represent a bear. <laughs> but, I'm not seeing a bear here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just not seeing a bear. Um, there's really nothing about this that says bear to me. Uh, I guess you could pass maybe the... No, really, there's nothing. There's nothing that says bear here. Uh, but nevertheless, it is a it is a very cool beast mode. I, I do like it a lot. Uh, it's very large feeling. Um, and to give you an idea of size, we're going to go ahead and show him off with Voyager Predaking here. Uh, here they are together. You can see... Uh, that Grimling, uh, Grimwing looks definitely more uh, hefty. I mean, it doesn't have the tail, um, the the super long tail, but if you put them right next to each other, he definitely looks uh, very, very beefy uh, by comparison. So I guess that would lend itself more to a bear body than, than like a, a, a lizard or reptile or something like that. Um, yeah, but uh, man, I'm, I'm really... Hoping this the this big giant Predator King comes out soon, cause this guy is, is starting to uh, starting to lose me here. <laughs> His wings are getting sad, <laughs> but we'll put him right aside for now, um, and focus more on Grimwing here. Uh, so he's got articulation going on. We'll take his his weapon off. His uh, black beak, the bird monster <laughs> gun thing and just put that off to the side for now and uh articulation is pretty much what you'd expect <laughs> considering his robot mode uh he's got shoulders going on here a little not limited just just very tight um he's got some elbows going on he does have a uh he has a bicep swivel and uh, an elbow swivel. Uh, his he's got a hand wrist swivel. Uh, his hands can go up and down a little bit. He's got a, a thumb swivel going on here. Nice nice articulation definitely. Uh, his head is on a ball joint. 
and on a stalk so it can go, uh, you know, pretty far down and uh, not not very far up. I mean, pretty much just go straight. Uh, but his his beak does open up. You can get some good good screaming out of that beak, and his head does turn, of course. You can get a full 360 from his uh, head there. Very nice. Uh, back legs, he can, uh, he's got, you know, of course, his, uh, his hips can, can swivel there. He's got, uh, kind of a, a universal joint going on here. He's got a thigh swivel, very tight thigh swivel. No, no knee swivel, uh, but he does have, you know, knees, of course, a little bit, somewhat limited, uh, and he has the, the mid break there. Uh, he's also got ball joint on a stock feet, so you can get some decent uh, decent poses out of his feet as well. Uh, yeah, so very cool, very nice. Uh, he also has wing, uh, wing articulation, just goes up and down. That's pretty much it. His wings don't unfold. Uh, if you look at the pictures and stuff of him, you might get that impression, but they, they do not, unfortunately. Uh, this, and, uh, yeah. That's about it for his beast mode. Uh, it's very nice coloration. I really like the paintwork on this guy. I think the, the green just makes... Just makes the gray actually look better. It really, really does stand out uh, quite a bit. Actually, uh, I said he had limited knees because it was like this, but he actually does have a double hinged knee. So I was totally off on that. He just has a crazy amount of knee, <laughs> knee articulation. Not limited. Uh, just me not knowing what I'm talking about. And I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he can do that. All right, Ursa Griff, I think we are going to transform you into robot mode. How does that sound? That sounds great, Rob. Sounds like he's a plan. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll see you guys in just a second, and we'll transform this guy. All right, so to transform Grimwing into robot mode, uh, what you want to do is you want to go around to his legs first and you're just gonna kind of straighten them out you know like like you're sort of used to with the uh, the dragon formers there and then the the back legs here are just gonna go up and up like so uh, straighten out his little tootsies and then bring down this green piece as a heel uh, so that he can stand up just like so. There you go. Uh, next, we're going to get the arms kind of out of the way. And we're going to bring the wing pack up. You'll see it's on this blue bit here. Just pull that up. And then that'll unlock his, uh, his torso bits, his chest halves. You move these green pieces out to the sides here. These are going to be his pecs, his sweet pecs, and uh, the entire neck assembly is on this like green stalk here. You just want to pull this back and out of the way, and what we're going to do now is take the, take the hips and just push them up into the body, just like so, until they click into place, and they will be tight. Uh, next up... We're gonna take his whole uh, his whole neck and just kind of pull it down and into the body, just like so. All right, you just want to kind of rotate the uh, the green piece on the back of his neck around, and that'll reveal his robot head. And then you're just gonna basically push his torso halves together. And this is kind of where this figure falls apart, unfortunately, uh, literally. But uh, then we're going to push the, the wing pack back down and just kind of peg that into place. And uh, around here and kind of adjust the arms however you want them to be. Adjust the arms. And 
he has these ex extra um like feathery claw bits on his wings and those can go out in either mode uh i kind of like the way they look better in robot mode i think they like add a little bit to his uh to his profile so i add them there but you can do it in either mode obviously uh and just kind of fix his hands give him his thumbs and all that fun stuff and you pretty much have him in robot so mode. here is grimwing in robot mode and i really really like the look of this guy but I really, really hate that Hasbro once again has left us with nothing to tab into place here. Like his 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 entire torso does not peg in at all. Like it's just hanging loose. Um, so that is really annoying, guys. <laughs> Hasbro, please take note of this. Uh, you've got all this space in here. You could have easily just added like two a tab on either side and just boop pegs right in super easy does not require an excess of plastic super simple stuff guys um but yeah unfortunately uh that's you know it just kind of is what it is uh but yeah it's it's really it really is a bummer because this would otherwise be a really amazing figure um, as it is, it's certainly not bad, uh, you know, other than that fact. Uh, he's got the same articulation, he's got, uh, you know, shoulders going on, you just have to push his torso back together after you move his arms at all, which is kind of annoying. Uh, you know, his head is on a ball joint, so you can get, uh, some decent movement out, out of there. I'll give you a close-up of his head. Very, uh... Very angry looking head going on there. And it is on a ball joint. You get some very decent poses out of it. Uh, he, like I said before, he's got a bicep swivel and an elbow swivel. So you can get all kinds of uh, different poses out of his arms, which is very nice. Um, legs, same, same deal going on. Thigh swivel. Uh, the lack of a knee swivel kind of makes things a little, a little weird at times but it's really not bad you can still get some very cool poses out of this guy and he's, he's very nice and stable thanks to these big big green uh, heels that he's got going on so yeah very very cool looking very very nice looking figure um, and again I love the way that his colors really really pop um, he's got a very very nice color scheme, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's just a shame about that torso, seriously. <laughs> um, but yeah, really cool. Very nice. Uh, I'll show you guys his weapon really quickly here. So here is Blackbeak. And the way Blackbeak works is he's got this little bit on his back here. And you just unravel the string. And... Uh, then you can push this plunger and the theory is that it'll fire this uh, this missile but yeah yeah <laughs> uh, let's see there we go it kind of fired the missile you can see he's got a big ridiculous bird mouth going on here um, and as well as the uh, the missile itself, aside from having gunk on it, I don't know if that's from inside this thing. Huh. So that needs to be cleaned. <laughs> but, uh, that's really weird. There's totally, like, dirt on the inside of this thing, but I've never... I've never touched it before today. It just, just came out of the package. <laughs> that's so weird. All right. Um, but yeah, you can see that the missile itself is shaped like a bird. It's got a beak. It's got wings going on. So it's really weird. It's it's a big giant bird head that vomits out this weird little bird. And then you've got this little fin back here. You can retract it, pull it right back into the, to the mouth, and then fire it off again. Just like that. 
which that worked much better this time so yeah so that's that's a uh, black beak i don't know if this guy's going to be in the show or not i don't know if he's going to have this weapon in the show uh it would be a really weird uh dynamic if he did to have this kind of like noble warrior and then this insane lunatic gun that uh, that you know just follows him around everywhere because he's attached to him um but yeah, I'll, I'm interested to see where where the the TV show goes with these other dragon characters if they're even uh, involved at all. Um, but yeah, uh, so connection points you can attach Blackbeak to uh, to his arm here like this. You can also uh, stick him in his hand. You can hold him like that. Uh, you can mount him on his back if you so desire to kind of get him uh, get him out of the way. And I do like that they added in a way to kind of store the store the string, unlike uh, Soundwave there. So you just wrap it up and then plug this right into the back, and it holds holds everything very very nice and tight, and uh, everything gets out of the way quite nicely. Uh, so quick, some quick size comparisons here. Just let me grab a few guys. Here he is with uh, Voyager Prime. So you can see, while Prime looks looks uh, like more bulked out, this guy actually looks kind of bigger in person. Just he just looks maybe it's the wingspan i'm not entirely sure but he he just looks like more imposing of a of a character uh let's see we've also got his his wave mate ultra magnus here and uh yeah so you can see he's surrounded by some autobots i don't know if he'll end up you know defecting like dinobot did but <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, I think. Uh, yeah, but you can see he's, he's a decent-sized Voyager. His, his, uh, he's a little short in, in this image, but his legs are also a, a bit bent due to my, my posing. Uh, so he is just as tall as these guys uh, normally. A little bit taller than Ultra Magnus, actually. And I think just as tall as Prime. Uh, yeah, but definitely a cool figure. It really, really is a bummer about the... Uh, about the torso um yeah it just that's that's just really is a bummer um i don't know if it was you know cut for costs or if it was never implemented in the first place but it really it kind of detracts from the entire figure unfortunately um but anyway, I still recommend it. He's still a great toy. I mean, he looks amazing in hand. Um, even better than the prototypes did, in my opinion. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so much, as always, for watching. Uh, be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Um, I've got more reviews coming on the way. I've got Ultra Magnus. I've got the rest of the, the new Deluxes coming as well. Um, hopefully those will be here soon. And in the meantime, thank you guys so very much again for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.